to NXT, NXT. And it started right off to a match. Dominic Dijakovic versus Shane Thorne. And what a surprise. Dijakovic? Dijakovic. How the fuck are you able to um do it? Well, say it once. <laughs> Listen, try saying his name. Dijakovic. I can't even pronounce it. No. Try say it again, Justin. Dijakovic. Dijakovic. Dominic Dijakovic. Oh, I'm surprised he won. But yeah, of course we knew he was gonna win. It this match ain't really, really worth talking about. It's an end match. We all we we all really knew Dominic Dijakovic. No, I can't say it. Dijakovic. One with feature eyes, so pretty much. And then that was a tag team. Stacy Irvin G Irvin Jr. Some new guy with those messed up pants. Uh, Versus the Street Profits. Well, before that, um, Missy says Stacy should just partner yeah. with Velveteen Dream. Yeah, he should. Perfect. But Stacy Irvin Jr. With Humberto Carrillo, and before that, it started. Castellano coming out. He's just pretty much he wants to tell the audience that we're trash. Oh no! And he's out of here. Oh yes. <laughs> and he goes, "I'm gonna go somewhere where show me I'm the best." Oh, yep. poor them. And then Keith Lee's walking behind him, and he, of course, attacks him. Well, he sucked him right move, in the face. What a move! So, and then he's laying on the ground. And then Keith Lee's singing while he's saying, he's like, oh no. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> and he's just saying that he's pretty much just told Keith, Keith, Cash is oh no. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you on Don't, the way out. Yeah. And then let's get this show going. That's what you guys want. And then the Sheep Prophets came out. And then, of course, they did a little mimic thing of Castellanos on the ground. And then. To get their match started with them. Yep. Obviously, we knew Street Profits were going to win, so they won. Yeah, they yeah. beat the Funky Pants and Taylor Loftner looking son of a gun. Yeah, Montez Ford did the pinning. And then after the match... Um, call they, the Street Profits called out the War Raiders saying that they want their titles. Yeah, pretty much the same. He's, he, he's, they're ready for war. And right before they said War Raiders, some team that I couldn't see couldn't see the name. No, you couldn't see the name. You couldn't pronounce the name because they sounded like they weren't from America. Like some kind but, of German guys. Anyway, they were like, step aside, she Profits. And then Danny Burch and Oni Lorkin came out. And then it's just, they're just yabby yabby getting fissy fissy. Um, then the War Raiders, war, war, war. Yeah. I'm doing this right. War, war, war. Like this. Something like this. I'm probably doing it wrong. War, war, war. Maybe you should just go out with face paint the next time you want to do it. And the, the, he's like, I hear a lot of talking and no fighting. If you want, then come get him. Come get him. And then the the warriors get blindsided by the undisputed era. Yep, and puts in you no know, error puts them into the ring, making the other team attack him. But yep. that doesn't do too well because the warriors stand tall and throw them all out of the ring. So. One of them actually picks up one of the guys over their heads, and then they did their tag team finisher. So, I mean, War Raiders are amazing. You know what's gonna be awesome? You know what's gonna happen next week probably? Uh, Cashino, oh no, is probably gonna want to fight. Yeah, it's probably Keith gonna Lee. be. Ca if, it's probably gonna be Cashino's and Keith Lee, and it's probably gonna be like a tag team with all them guys that you've seen. Oh, we got. The tag team elimination match, and the winners go against the War Raiders. Maybe. Uh, what was it on NXT TakeOver Saturday? Is there going to be an NXT TakeOver? I don't TakeOver? think so. I don't think there's going to be a TakeOver this Saturday. Either. Are you sure? Because usually, almost like every good WWE pay-per-view, there's uh, NXT pay-per-view on a Saturday. No, I don't think there's going to be one. There should be. Yeah. But anyway, then there was a female match. Uh, Tanora Conte? She looks kind of cool with this martial like karate type outfit. MMA kind of style, mixed martial arts. Yeah. I like her braid though, that was pretty cool. She's pretty interesting, I like her. And then, verse. 
Aaliyah. Uh, Aaliyah and Leah. Aaliyah. And this is already seen her and like she looked like a prima donna. <laughs> she does. Isn't she the one that looks like Nikki Be uh, Nikki Bella but with um, cur uh, curly hair? I don't know. But Aaliyah won. She made her tap. Almost a lot of these people make them tap like that. What, like the coquina clutch? Yeah. And then, of course, right actually during the match, this girl named Vanessa, I think they say that, Vanessa, um, she was actually sitting there watching Aliyah versus um, Tanara. And, of course, once Aliyah won, they're celebrating, and then Shayna just comes walking out. Like all bad. And like, like she's mad. And and then they leave, but Shayna's buddies throw them back in the ring, and they're all tacking and doing the moves on her, whatnot. And Shayna's like, "This is reality right here. Yeah. Get in our, don't get in our way. And one real thing, don't piss us off." <laughs> yeah, just because she got pinned by Io Sorari. Speaking of that, Io and Kari were oh, that's backstage. Oh, I forgot that. That was an interview. Yeah, it was. Um, They're interviewing them about the, how, they be, how they are about their t uh, be, being a tag team. And yeah, stuff. and then Bianca's like, I'm I'm going to be the first one because she said she's undefeated again. But didn't she, got, didn't she get defeated? Yeah. How are you undefeated if you got defeated? Hello, two videos yeah. now. Because a stupid ad popped up. Yeah, recording on your cam on your phone will do that. But, but we're on our main event with Ricochet versus Adam Cole. Yeah, Adam Cole, baby. But yeah. I love Ricochet. Yeah, the Ricochet. one and only Ricochet. He's awesome. That match was probably a really good match. Probably, yeah, I would say so. With Ricochet, yeah. Yeah, because he does all the flips and whatnot in the moves. Flips and tricks. Yeah, Ashley, you're going, do a flip! Yes! Yep. But, um, he did, like, suplexes and whatnot, and and he did, but for the win, he did a vertigo. And then, of course, big baby unsweeted air comes out and attacks Ricochet, and they stand tall. Oh, of course, the bad guy has. Wait, didn't they get their butts handed to them by the War Raiders? I don't know. I think they ran off. Or they got a tag team thrown onto them. But still, that should hurt. You got, you're got getting a grown man thrown on you. Yeah. But anyways. But also, next week is going to be Johnny Gargano versus Velveteen Dream for the North American oh, Championship. Yeah. I so, hope... uh, Stacy, join him. <laughs> I hope Johnny Gargano keeps it. Because I want Ricochet to take it back from Johnny Gargano. Yep. I don't, don't mind if Velveteen Dream or uh, anybody wins it. Because either way, that could be it. will be a good match. I mean, Ricochet and Velveteen Dream. Meh. Wait, Alistair Black showed up uh, today. Oh. Wait, where, where did he show Yeah, he showed up for the... Oh, yeah. It was the last one. He was he was trying to help um Ricochet. He was trying to help Ricochet. Yeah. But he it didn't it didn't last. Nope. It didn't last it <laughs> still stand tall. Yeah, I remembered that. You didn't you I forgot. wrote it down too. And I wrote it down. She's got Dean on the brain. Damn. Trust me, I had Roman on the brain earlier. <laughs> with the first match. Yeah. But, yeah, that pretty much was NX yeah. NXT. Yeah, so we're pretty much, you know what's going to happen. Keith Lee and yeah, you Cash know, Ono is going to do something. Yeah, it's going to be that. And there's probably going to be something with, like, um, Ricochet and a Alistair Black for his error. Or yep. War Raiders with the probably who's going to be number one contender for that, Matt. Those oh, titles. The War Raiders should keep those belts. They're going to keep them for a while. They're gonna keep those hats for a while. They just got them. Mm-hmm. They're gonna keep them. So, if you watched NXT and... You enjoyed it? 
let us know. Um, what did you like? Um, I thought you say the Ricochet match was good. I liked the thing with Keith Lee. That was funny. Yeah. Do you like this new guy named Stacy? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, that's weird, but why would you name your name Stacy? Like, wow. That's probably really not his name. It's probably just his ring name. Remember, why would you name yourself Stacy? Well. WWE gives you the ring names. Well, probably matches with his pants. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, anyway, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.